Chapter 3 Katie discovers the incredible power of Yet. Our story begins with Katie, a friendly monster who loved being the smartest one in class. Until one day, when something unsettling happened. It was Katie's favorite time of the day, science class. She was always the best at science. But today, something was different. Everyone was having a great time working on a fun project. But Katie just didn't get it. She started to ask for help. But then she had a frightening thought. If she asked for help, everyone would see she really wasn't so smart after all. She decided to keep quiet and pretend everything was okay. A little while later, Katie was sitting at lunch, feeling glum, when Mojo stopped by. Katie, you're a genius, said Mojo. Um, what? said Katie. I was working on this project today, said Mojo, and I got stuck. Normally, I would just give up and start throwing paper airplanes. But then I remembered what you said about how your brain is like a muscle. And I thought, hey, it's not like I can't do this. I just can't do it yet. So I turn to Bruce and I say, hey, Bruce, I don't get this yet. And he's all like, no problemo, Mojo. I'll help you figure it out. So we worked on it together. And now we have the sweetest volcano you've ever seen. That's great, Mojo, said Katie. But weren't you embarrassed to ask for help? No way! Why would I be embarrassed when I could be learning something new? Well, Katie couldn't believe it. She'd been teaching Mojo all about the brain. But maybe it was time she learned a lesson from him. Hmm, what do you think? Can Katie learn something from Mojo? Now that's an interesting question indeed.